so one is beta oxidation of fatty acid other is fatty acid synthesis in fatty acid synthesis the first step is acetyl coa to malonyl coa formation 2 carbon to 3 carbon and here is the rate limiting enzyme that is acetyl coa carboxylase acetyl coa carboxylase or malonyl coa synthetase synthetase because any carboxylase uses atp so this enzyme also uses atp so this is the rate limiting enzyme in fatty acid synthesis and in beta oxidation in beta oxidation of fatty acid acyl coa is formed in cytoplasm this acyl coa has to enter into mitochondria because beta oxidation main pathway will occur in mitochondria so there is a guard cpt1 enzyme present here in outer mitochondrial membrane which will allow the entry of acyl coa which will allow the entry of acyl coa into the mitochondria for beta oxidation and this enzyme cpt1 is the rate limiting enzyme of beta oxidation and we know that this malonyl coa which is three carbon compound it is the inhibitor of cpt1 so this inhibition helps in reciprocal regulation reciprocal regulation means out of these two opposite pathways only one will be activated at one time so let's say there is fed state in body so in fed state this fatty acid synthesis will occur and malonyl coa will be formed this will inhibit cpt1 so so when cpt1 is inhibited beta oxidation cannot occur so in fed state fatty acid synthesis occurs but beta oxidation does not occur and in fasting state this malonyl coa will not be formed this malonyl coa will not be formed in fasting state so beta oxidation will occur because cpt1 will be active